chap chapters capture uh, certainly one of the important concepts in the book, but for us, one of the central concepts in the course as well. And it, it gives us examples and ways to understand this notion of behavior communicating with employees. And this is a notion that employees who are you know, partially involved in the firm, that it's important to them, but they don't know everything that's going on. They, um, they're interested, but you know, maybe there are just some things they may not even be able to understand. But they understand what is going on in the firm by the behavior of those in positions of authority. And, uh, you know, very effective leaders are very good at communicating values through their behavior. First, they're communicating their personal values. And so employees kind of know who you are by what, how they see you behave, how, they, how you go about doing things, how you conduct yourself. Uh, are, are you a person of integrity? Are you cutting corners? They, they know you. They see you. And one of the burdens of leaders is this high visibility of people watching everything you're doing and making these judgments. Uh, it actually can, can weigh on you. But it is, it is one of the things that goes with being in a visible management position. And leaders who really are able to add value in that position are able to conduct themselves in a way that you know, reflects well on themselves, but also articulates the company's values. Um, in the later chapter, chapter 12, which is an extension, it, it's paired with chapter 11, which is we read in conjunction with reinforcement. And so it's an extension of that, and it's an extension that talks about really how the celebrations we hold, um, the stories that are told are are defined values for employees as well, that employees understand what the company is about in terms of what it celebrates, in terms of the stories that are core to how the organization treats customers, how it, it, it treats employees. And as we will um, discuss in class, you know, part of this is even how do we, what do we, what do we do with retirees, right? The, how we treat retirees is actually an expression of the value we give to people. So when somebody retires, do we, uh, you know, wish them, wish them luck and don't let the door hit you? Or is there some kind of thing that celebrates their, their contributions? And these are choices that leaders make to, um, you know, in, in, that are oftentimes not recognized, but are actually engaging the employees of the company and which have a big impact on how people think about the company. I'd like you to look for uh, explanations of how the organization participants understand leadership values and company values. I think you'll see articulated this notion that employee, uh, that leader's behavior speaks to employees and it actually speaks eloquently. It is very impactful. I'd like you to uh, use the SIP model and uh, really think about how this model links to these judgment processes that um, employees are engaging in. Uh, think about this notion that uh, actions speak independently of anything we say uh, and that they actually speak more eloquently than anything that we say. And then, you know, look for the examples of how managers actually do this. How do they put these ideas of um, modeling the way of, of motivating the spirit of the organization. How do they do put those into practice? And, and what you're going to see is people, you know, they behave. They know who they are, um, and they behave in ways that are consistent with who they are, uh, who they want their employees to be, and uh, what the values of the company are now and the values that are going to project into the future.